Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching us how to properly add a cookie consent banner on Webflow from scratch using the site builder. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple, and I'm pretty sure that you guys are familiar, familiar with the cookie consent banner that you get every time you visit the website. So it's normally a pop-up that comes out when you go to a website asking you to allow, um, allow integration or um, allow cookie access for your website as well as your computer. So uh, we're going to add that element onto our Webflow website using ElfSite. So as you guys can see here, I have Elf site open. And from here, we're going to click on, actually let's delete this first real quick. So we can add a new one. So we're going to click on catalog like here. And here uh, from the selection, we're going to type cookies, cookie consent. So it's this one right here. So we're going to click on it like so. And the idea is we're going to main, um, manually configure how it's just going to come out as well as the text for it and how we want the format to be. So I prefer this one right here, center floating box, as this one is the most uh, vivid and um, it doesn't really um, uh, distract your viewers from your website or the content of your website. Or you could go for this one as it pops out more. So it's really up to you. Or you can go for this one. So we're going to continue with the bottom banner template like so. We're going to add a custom message. So this one uh, depends entirely on, uh, entirely up to you guys. Choose the language for it. Ask users to offer cookies. Or you can have a different compliance type and have them um, uh, or rather inform them that your website uses cookies. So, so from there, um, you're going to click on publish. And I would actually go for this one as um, it's less intrusive when people go to visit your website. And the idea here is we're going to copy our code like so, and we're going to go back to our web uh, Webflow site builder, and we're going to add a new element. So from here, we're going to click on HTML, actually um, custom CSS, or better yet, a code block. We're going to drag it to, let's say this container right here. Let's just do it th here, for example, and we're going to paste the code, save and close. I actually didn't display correctly, so let's do it again. Control Z. Okay, so I added a new container here, and let's pretend that we want to add the, uh, the corresponding element for code right here. Drag it here. Let's try it out again. And here we are. So yeah, that's how you guys do it. So hopefully this video helped you out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And yeah, thank you all for watching the video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.